Hello, I'm Sean Ryan. I'm the owner and head trainer here at Developing Dogs and this little video is to touch on house training. So you can house train a dog at any age. Um, it's easier if they're puppies um, because they haven't already established a preference about where they like to go but you can house train a dog at any age, I promise you. It just takes a little bit more consistency and persistence on your part. So with house training, what we're doing is actually establishing what we call a substrate preference. We are teaching dogs um, that to prefer going outside on grass, gravel, you know, whatever the surface available is, rather than inside on carpet. Now, if you're house training in the middle of winter, that might be quite a hard sell because frankly, I would much rather go to the loo in a nice warm house than I would outside. And some of your puppies or your dogs will be exactly the same. But as if you're consistent, if you uh, make going outside reinforcing, you can help them establish a routine and you will get, you will crack house training. So simple things to, things to remember. They will need to go to the toilet first thing in the morning, last thing at night and depending on their age everything up to every hour or even more in between um, and some puppies some very young puppies will need to go once or twice overnight too so the first thing that you need to do is try and establish when is your puppy or your dog needing to go to the toilet so as soon as they wake up get them straight outside make sure you've got a couple of bits of food on you so that when they've gone to the toilet you can reinforce them hang around wait and see if they need to do anything else again reinforce them if they do um, and when they're ready bring them back inside don't immediately bring them back inside as soon as they've toileted because some dogs learn to hang on because they want to spend more time outside um, because they know that as soon as they have finished you bring them back inside again so stay out there with them reward them for going tell them how great they are and let them have and carry on and do a little bit more sniffing bring them back inside um, when they're inside, keep an eye on them. You will see some puppies start to sniff, start to circle. It's the beginning of their routine. They need to go outside. Encourage them out if you need to. Pick them up to take them outside if you know they're not going to make it in time. When they go outside, heavy reinforcement um, and then sort of bring them back inside again. Over the first few days of you having your puppy if, or your dog, if you start to keep a track of the times that they went to the toilet and how often they went, what they did, you'll start to see, oh, actually, they go for two hours after breakfast before they need to go to the loo again. So you don't have to keep hawk eyes on them for that whole two hours. You can think, right, I've probably got at least an hour where they can be left to entertain themselves without me worrying about them going to the loo inside. You'll sort of fall into this thing. But um, to start off with, take them out after they've eaten, after they've woken up, after they've had a play, and on the hour, every hour in between. So you may feel for the first couple of weeks that you are constantly standing outside in the garden with your puppies. I promise you it's worth it because every accident that they have inside reinforces going to the toilet inside. Even if you don't, you know, you're certainly not going to give them a piece of food for it, but going to the toilet in itself is reinforcing. So um, you, we've all experienced relief when we've been desperate to go to the loo, your puppies are the same or your dogs are the same. So you want to keep accidents to the minimum. So it's really worth being quite intense with the house training for the first couple of weeks until you've established that pattern. You can see, yes, they can hold it for four hours overnight or they can do um, two hours after breakfast, um, then they need to go again, then I've got an hour and then I might get three hours in the afternoon. Every puppy is different and um, the size of the puppy, the age of the puppy will all have an impact on it. If you have a dog who um, has already learned to toilet inside, you are going to need to have the same level of intensity as a brand new puppy owner. Keep your eye on them, whisk them outside whenever you um, see them needing to go, reinforce heavily um, for going, and take them out and give them lots of opportunities for, to go to the toilet um, and reinforce when, when they do. So if they ha have an accident, Main thing is don't make a big deal out of it. Just um, wait for them, sort of, if you see it happening, you know, don't shout, don't clap your hands, whatever. 
Um, you can gently try and guide them outside if um, that's not going to scare them, but what you don't want is for them to, to be worried about toileting in front of you because that's going to impact, impact on them learning to go to the toilet outside. So if, you, if they may have an accident, it's your mistake, not theirs. You've taken your eyes off them. You haven't given them an opportunity to go outside. So don't make a big deal. Wait for them to be somewhere else, engaged in something else, before you start to clean it up. Whatever you um, do, you sort of obviously pick up the poo, um, uh, take up as much of the excess moisture as you can, and you need to clean the area with an enzymatic cleaner. Now, you can get special um, cleaners for it, or you can make up a solution with biological washing liquid and water, but it must be an enzymatic cleaner because that's the only thing that breaks down the remnants which leave the scent there that tells your dog this is a good place to toilet. Do not use anything that has ammonia in it. So any of the standard um, household cleaners will actually leave the area smelling like a toilet to your dog, which is completely counterproductive um, to what you're trying to teach them. So give the area a good old clean and um, just remember to do a little bit better next time in hopes of keeping your eye on them. Um, uh, so, we, that's the kind of the basis of house training. It's about being consistent, it's about being available to take them out and reward them for going when they do. Overnight, um, if you have a dog or a puppy who needs to go to the toilet overnight, to try and extend when they go, um, have them in the room with you. When you hear them, or sleep down where, if you really don't want them upstairs, sleep downstairs with them. When you hear them snuffling and, and want, needing to go to the toilet, take them outside, reward, reward them, but just with a, yes, that was good, well done, rather than using food in this instance, bring them back in and settle them down. What I try and suggest to people is, if you know that they're getting up at two, set your alarm for about five, two, so that you're waking them, taking them out, and um, bring them back in again. And gradually, you're gonna push that time that you're setting your alarm back, so a quarter of an hour later, the following couple of nights, and push it back and push it back until you can get them going through for a reasonable period of time, six to eight hours. But remember, just like babies, just like you when you were a baby, every puppy will mature at a different rate. So some puppies can hold it and sleep through, um, from a very young age, others might be three, six months old before they can actually go through the night. They're not doing it. <coughs> Excuse me. They're not doing it to spite you. They're not doing it to be difficult. They physically can't hold um, any more or any longer. So um, just you know, be sympathetic to that. No matter how much you're desperate for a good night's sleep, so are they. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Um, but just be patient. They will get there. I promise. A final note then on puppy pads. I'm not a fan of puppy pads because effectively you're house training twice. You're, first of all, you're teaching them to go on the pads, which is teaching them to go inside, and then you're having to teach them to go outside. So as far as I'm concerned, I would much rather just teach them to go outside right from the start. There are a couple of exceptions to that. One is if you know that the puppy is going to be in their crate for longer that they can hold it, please give them a puppy pad so that they can at least go on that. Um, or likewise, if you know they're going to be alone or sort of having to go for a period where they won't be able to go outside, then use a puppy pad um, to sort of to save them learning to, to wee on their bed or in their crate or wherever they are. But that would be my sort of exception. But generally, puppy pads slow down house training. They make it harder, they make it go on for longer. So if you can, go outside. Um, the other sort of note is I quite often will get people who think their puppy is house trained because they got them in the summer, pup, the door back doors open the whole time, the puppy's going in and out, taking themselves to go out to the toilet, everything is fine until it gets a little bit colder and the back door is closed. And then the back door is closed and um, the puppy then goes to the back door, can't get out there so the toilet's on the mat because having free access to go outside at all the times has not taught the puppy to be able to hold on. They've been able to go whenever they've needed. So it's definitely worthwhile keeping doors closed, even in the summer, taking your puppy outside and helping them learn to hold, helping to learn that they can, you know, initially wait five seconds for you to get there, 10 seconds for you to get there, a couple of minutes for you to get there until they settle into the routine, which most dogs do of sort of a time they go first thing in the morning, once at lunchtime, 
after tea and last thing at night, um, or of course a million times on walks, especially if you've got boys. But that should be enough about house training. If you've got any more questions, obviously get in touch with us, and we hope we see you here at Developing Dogs soon.